what's up everybody welcome back to the channel it's your girl colors and i'm back with another video and today's video is going to be all about my 34th and 35th week of pregnancy now this past two weeks has been the craziest <laughs> two weeks in a very long time now i haven't been sick or anything like that it hasn't been much going wrong but we are getting a lot of stuff done and preparing for baby girl nala to come into this world it's so weird saying that finally on camera because we have been saying baby isaac forever but yeah we have named her if you want to hear the full name you haven't heard it before we have just posted a video recently on what her whole name is and the names that we have liked so if you haven't seen that go check that video out but yeah we are i've been like crazy nesting and organizing all kind of stuff to prepare for her arrival and it's crazy because we are only a few weeks away or could be less any day now who knows because as you know according to fetal medicine i should be going to labor technically next week because as I film this video, I am 36 weeks and two days pregnant. And they predict roughly around the 37 weeks mark that I would go into labor. So who knows? No one knows is that date. <laughs> like jesus child <laughs> but um she's gonna come when she's ready but there's a lot been going on so let me just go ahead and jump right into it so i'm gonna go ahead and talk about some of the symptoms i've been having which haven't been much honestly since that is short in that everything that been happened after that so the number one thing that has been happening is i am definitely getting more breast and hicks now <laughs> i don't know how to feel about them because they're a little bit disrespectful because they come out of nowhere, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could be mid-conversation and I'll just be like, wait a minute, I need a second. It don't last long, maybe about 30 seconds at a time or something like that. Sometimes it feels like a, a cramp or something like that. And they're not all the time, but it's happening a little bit more frequently. But it's a good thing because it let me know that she is preparing herself for her arrival. The disrespect. The next thing that I have noticed is something that actually been happening more than this past two weeks, but I don't think it was significant enough for me to really think about it during the bump dates. It's probably been going on for roughly about three or four weeks, but I've been having vaginal pain. Now you probably like, duh, like you're gonna have vaginal pains? Like no, like the type of vaginal pains I've been having is like, I only notice it when I'm like trying to get up or sit down. Anytime I'm putting like strain down there, it's like, I don't know, it's kind of like a, a cut, but a swollenness, maybe like a cut that's healing. And you might be like, oh, that's ligaments and stuff like that, nope. Nope, no, nope, no, nope. because I don't feel it inside of my vagina. I feel it on the on the front part, you know, my stuff at what my goody goodies at. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't appreciate it, and every time I get up out of the bed, it hurts. No, I don't have no affection, nothing like that, because I've been checked several times. Trust me, I'm tired of seeing these doctors, and I know they're gonna get me at the end of this pregnancy journey because I am there literally too much. But that is a thing that I noticed and I can't wait to go away, but it's only gonna get worse because she has one exit. Technically, she could come out another way, but we're not gonna talk that into existence. So she only have one way out. So I'm not gonna stress too much about that because it's probably gonna get a lot worse than that. So yeah. The next thing that has happened is that your girl's finally getting to the point to where she knows she pregnant because she is going to the bathroom like every two seconds. And I be getting that annoying piece sometimes where it's like it only be a couple drops. And I don't know if it's just me, but sometimes when it be like those one bathroom breaks when you got a couple drops, it has this like irritating feeling because you feel like your bladder is really full, but it's not it be like a little doop doop doop. You be like, bruh, like you made me run to the bathroom for this. Like I probably use the bathroom roughly like no more than 10 times which may not sound like a lot for a pregnant person 
but it's a lot for me because I'm generally go to the bathroom two to three times a day tops and I'll be done. And that has been happening for a while now. But now, your girl, child, kind of need to use the bathroom right now. My stomach's so tight. I guess that's just my life, child. That's just my life. If you see me looking down, I'm looking at my notes. Oh, I'm so glad I said that because your girl got pregnancy brain, child. Pregnancy brain is a real thing. I swear I am so forgetful. I forget everything. I'd be saying something mid-sentence and be like, what was I going with this? And you'd be like, I don't know where you was going with this. Child, I thought I had pregnancy brain before, but no, mm -mm. And I think too, to be honest, David's getting pregnancy brain too, because I'm just like, that's a whole nother story. I'm not gonna give him too much, but another thing that has happened, if you follow me on my Instagram, you would know that your girl is loving the ice, craving the ice every two seconds. Every time I go to Wawa, I need at least four cups. Matter of fact, your girl loves ice, especially when it start getting really watery but it's still a bunch of ice in there. You drink the ice in the water at the same time. But it is bomb and I love it. And every single time David comes home from work, he has to get me a cup of ice. Another thing that has happened this week is that I feel like my nipples is growing even bigger now. I feel like there should be a limit, but at this point, I feel like new things are happening with them that I don't really appreciate. I feel like the little bumps around my nipples are creating little separate baby nipples. I don't know. I thought something was wrong. Maybe I cut myself or like my nipple was peeling or whatever at some point. So what I did was I started picking at the little baby nipple and tried to pick it off. And child, I think I done messed it up because maybe that's one of our little like milk ducks or whatever. I don't know what it was, but it looked like it's going back. It's just a lot happening, you know. I'm becoming a new woman, child. I ain't never have this much stuff going on with my boobs, but I guess it take you to get pregnant. But life to really start happening to you. You know, they look fine though. I still do got some of the little stretch marks over here, little zebra stripe. You know, I just gonna call them my new birthmark because I don't think it's going nowhere. You take what you can get. I'm so worried for my postpartum so that's basically enough of what's been going on with like my feelings my physical my symptoms all that type of stuff so let's just go ahead and talk about some of the events that happened in the last two weeks so some of the main things that's happened is that I had two OB appointments so in the two weeks each week I have a doctor's appointment so basically what happened at the first doctor's appointment is with the lady who with the person that originally helped me get pregnant she did measure my belly. She did speculate the baby going up in percentile as far as with weight because um, that week I gained four pounds in a week, which I have no idea how that happened because I haven't been doing anything differently from what I've been doing, but I was 186.8 pounds or something like that. I don't know exactly, but she was very nervous about that because you know, as you know, when you start to get in this level, you gain at least half a pound, I think, each week. So that was making her a little nervous. She did end up doing a cervical check because I did have this one test done, which was the strep B, and that had to be the most painful cervical check I ever had. And I had plenty. When she checked my cervix, I was extremely hard as far as the cervix. She could not get in my cervix whatsoever. She was actually pretty shocked and shook <laughs> how hard it was for her to get in my cervix because you know my cervix has been very short up until this point and she didn't expect it to not be soft because I was getting later in in pregnancy but no she could not get in she kind of had that little like tense face like we need this baby out soon she also let me know that i had a very small pelvis and i guess the way that my pelvis is it made her nervous about me gaining the amount of weight that i had been gaining she let me know that it was a kind of a big deal that she comes out soon she even was talking induction. I told her that I didn't want an induction or whatnot. So she let me know like, hey, stop taking progesterone. Don't do it no more because we need that baby out soon. She was kind of making me feel like I have a high chance of C-section 
if my baby get too big. And we not gonna be doing that. I will be doing castor oil and all that other stuff, midwife proof and all that before it gets to that point, or at least be attempting to. So she did let me know that the baby did drop lower though. Yeah, she just kind of started to go to some of the natural things that I could do to try to get my cervix to start softening up because she let me know there's nothing we can do no one can do until i start to dilate so she did tell me about the red leaf tea which i did start taking just plenty of sex and stuff right now and then we'll take things week by week so that's what happened at my first appointment so going into the following week i did have another ob appointment and that was with the guy i told you that i said i wanted to see again to see how i feel that was a pretty quick appointment and it was pretty fine um, I didn't really have any problems. He did come in and he did drop a bomb on me, child. He told me that the strep B, it, it came back positive. So I guess I am strep B positive. And that means that when I go into labor, basically what will happen is that I will have to get all these medications in me pronto just to prevent her from getting infection once she is delivered so um he did let me know that it was wasn't something like i have an infection or i have a virus or i got like some kind of like std it's not like, nothing like strep throat but i guess it's just like a precaution of preventing my baby from getting like all these illnesses which was slightly disappointing but because of all the bullets I have dodged in this whole pregnancy journey, I'm not mad. If it's not affecting my health and I can do what I can for it to not affect her health, I'm totally fine. I will accept it. The fact that I have the opportunity to even say that my daughter will be here is a blessing within itself. So yeah, I will happily accept this positive test if it's not gonna cause no harm between me and her so i'll do whatever it is so basically what has to happen is when i go into labor that is pretty much the first things i have to let them know is like hey i am strep b positive let's get this medication going which is probably gonna make me look like i gain extra weight but it is what it is so he did let me know that i didn't have to have a cervical check but because I was kind of shook a little bit based off of what the last doctor said. So he checked my cervix and my cervix did soften. He was able to get a little bit of his fingers in. He said it was almost all the way through my cervix to where he could almost touch her. But it was a little bit close on the inside so he wasn't able to get in. So technically I wasn't dilated or anything like that. I think with him he has a different mentality. He's kind of like let's just make it get eight more days at that point. Um, he's happy. He's totally happy. So I wasn't as bothered as I was before. But honestly, I do like the woman a little bit better. But at the end of the day, they're both not gonna be at the hospital that I wanna deliver at, so it don't really matter. I just want my pregnancy to progress. I think I can get it to progress a little bit more with the woman over him. So that is what happened. I have an appointment on Valentine's Day, and we're gonna just see how that goes. So yeah, I'm hoping that she says I have dilated and that life is starting to crank up. The next big thing that has happened this week is that uh, David met the doula which was very exciting because I knew that we would be doing some massage techniques and kind of getting familiar with each other. We're kind of rushing our relationship because we met towards the end of my process but she's mad cool. She's still down to earth you know aka my doula mom or whatever she is uh, a very supportive person the only thing that happened when she came here was we talked a little bit more about my birth plan she brought a dvd for us to watch which was mainly about kind of stuff we already seen before with slight more information it was kind of helpful to go watch those videos and also ask her questions after that i asked her to show david some birthing techniques i personally have a birth ball so she kind of walked david through those steps which was very helpful because since i've been having more contractions 
David has been utilizing what he has learned. We also talked about the things that me and the doctor were talking about or both doctors were talking about and because of that she kind of was enticed to tell me more ways to help naturally induce my labor. We're gonna see what happens but we're gonna see how the red raspberry leaf tea goes. Probably talk more of the midwife's brew and things like that after my appointment on Valentine's Day. Um, we talked about, you know, the more sex thing. Pretty much everything that the first doctor said to do. I don't know if I end up doing the brew that I would film it or not. I'm a little bit skeptical because everybody likes to give their opinions child without knowing or really investing the time to understand my health. There are reasons that doctors that are suggesting certain things. We did talk about brain last week so I do have my own intuition. I asked plenty of questions. Stuff like taking Kestrel, Midwife, Brooklyn, stuff like that been around, especially island things for several years. It's not nothing really new that I heard about. For some reason, people are skeptical about and a lot of people like to be doctors and try to tell me what to do without knowing my health and my vagina. <laughs> so, I don't know. I guess y'all gotta let me know if, I, if it comes down to that point that you guys would like to see that. I probably would end up filming it for my own personal reasons. I don't really know. It is not like a rush thing. I'm not over anxious to get her here. I am totally fine with her coming at her due date. But at the same time, if it's a situation where C-section and inductions can get involved, I'd much rather um, take the brew than to go through those things. So that is my opinion. I'm not promoting it or whatever, but it is what it is. And it's my life, my child, and my baby. So outside of that, like I told you guys, we have been very, 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 very busy shopping, doing a lot of shopping. So as you know, we did have our baby shower. We have been doing a lot of things since then because, because we were dealing with such a short timeline with the speculation of me going to labor by next week that pretty much once we did the baby shower which was successful hopefully it comes out very soon y'all guys gotta bear with me because i'm going through life pregnancy and trying to rush everything once we got the gifts from the baby shower we pretty much calculated everything that we got also went through the list that we wrote probably a month or two ago of the stuff that we needed started crossing that stuff out and everything that we didn't get we pretty much started to rush by and try to start preparing because if you don't know we did not start on the nursery prior to the shower also you gotta think we were putting up shower gifts organizing washing clothes cleaning up our house just a lot we are almost at the point to where stuff is done the only thing that we need now at this point is actually a tall dresser and that is legit it everything else is just like organizing our clothes i even got like postpartum care i completed uh my hospital bag so speaking of which of uh, completing her nursery we did paint her nursery <laughs> which I'm extremely proud of because we did it in two days. I didn't expect that to happen. That was literally something out of the blue. I love the color. We had um, put a smart light in her room and some other stuff. So hopefully one of these days we'll be able to do a nursery tour, but we definitely can't do a nursery tour without her chest. So we don't really know when we're getting that, but we did paint her room and that was a huge thing. She'll probably be here before that video comes out, but I did end up making her a flower frame, which I'm proud of. I don't know if I'm gonna insert a clip here or just go ahead and see it on IG or whatnot, but that was like a last minute project. I just be finding all these last minute projects to do child. And I keep saying I'm done but I'm not because I keep doing it. <laughs> and I've been extremely exhausted, but I'm extremely proud. This shows that I am truly nesting. Your girl has been nesting because I don't think I've ever been this organized and this pumped to get stuff done in my life. So I think that's gonna be all for all the stuff that's been going on. Overall, your girl is just towards the end of the road. I don't know when stuff about to get real, but it's probably gonna be pretty soon. David is any day from having a heart attack child cause he thinks any moment I'm about to go into labor. He's trying to put it off as much as possible, but this baby need to go. 
because oof, this pain shouldn't be for nothing. So um, I think we're gonna go ahead and get into uh, some of the things that the pregnancy app says that is going on with her. Then we can go ahead and measure my belly and then kind of get ready to close out. So let's see what this app is saying. So starting off with the 34th week of pregnancy, it says that your baby weight is about five pounds now. By this time, most of the baby's hair is gone, which I think the body hair is what they're referring to. Your baby's immune system is no longer relying on antibodies from the placenta, the vernix, which is usually Usually that white little play stuff on them at birth is disappearing however a little bit of it still may be left at birth the digestive system is fully working by itself your baby is peeing up to a pint of urine a day even though the placenta is capable of supporting your baby until birth it will start to age this week for the 35th week it says your baby weight is a five and a half pounds now your baby will start with a period of rapid weight gain this week from now on until birth your baby will gain approximately a half a pound a week a lot of the weight is the all important brown fat to keep your little one warm for the first few weeks after birth this brown fat is different from the white fat that we get as women brown fat contains more cells that produce body heat and this in turn prevents hypothermia this brown fat appears on your baby's upper spine back and shoulders and that is pretty much it i don't know if this is going to be the last bump date as you know 36 weeks currently there's a lot of things happen physically i could easily end up going to full term no one knows i don't think i would end up going past 38 weeks because of my doctors they seem skeptical and i don't want it to get to a point to where they're talking induction you know just cross fingers that she's able to get the ball going uh, i don't know if it's gonna be week to week maybe it will maybe it won't i don't know i have so much for this like i said i am planning on doing a i'm in labor video that will be pre-recorded so at the point that you see the i'm in labor video what you can expect after that is basically probably some older videos coming out once i come home with baby and things like that because I don't know what to expect. I'm going to be a new mom. I don't know what my energy is going to be look like. I don't know how much footage I do plan on filming my labor. I'm pretty sure if I end up going to labor within the next week, there's going to be a lot of videos behind and I put so much work and energy into those videos. I don't want it to go left. I know this. So from the point that you see the I'm in labor videos, there will probably be other videos coming out. <laughs> after that that was pre-done so if you want current kind of information about me being in the hospital most likely i will be posting instagram stories of me being in the hospital so yeah make sure you follow me on that so enough of that rambling let's go ahead and measure this tummy all right so we're gonna have to scratch that because it don't look like i can actually find the measuring tape i thought it was around somewhere and i spent a decent amount of minutes honestly trying to look for in all the places that I thought it was at but it's not so let me just go ahead and show you how big is looking and then that's all I can do for y'all so let's go ahead and take a look as best as we can so child this is what she's looking like if y'all can see y'all can probably see my belly button look at that I have none but that is what she's looking like. So I guess that's gonna be all for this video. Like I said, I don't know if we could be expecting a video next week. We're taking it each week by week at this point. If it's worth doing a 36 week video, I will do so. At this point, it's probably not gonna be a lot happening. I'm just gonna be trying to continue to keep up with the vlogs and all that kind of stuff. So I guess this is all and until next time if you haven't already please make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you like this video comment down below and i will see you guys in the next one